Alrighty, it is 5.30 and we will call the public works meeting to order. Uh, start with roll call. Alderperson Ramey. I'm here. Alderperson Rust. Here. Alderperson. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> and Alderperson Decker is here. Uh, Alderperson Salazar is, is, Salazar is excused. Uh, we'll start out with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, uh, I think we have quite a few guests here, so we can move on today. I am Dean Decker, uh, all the person from District 6 and Mayor of the Public Works Committee. District 10. Zach Russ, District 8, Vice Chair. Chuck Adams, City Attorney. I'm Angela Ramey, District 5. <laughs> Mike Gomez, uh, Department of Public Works. Rick Nye, DPW Equipment Service Supervisor. Uh, Joel Colsey, Street Department, DPW. Trace Kevin Jump, DPW Engineering. Jason Null, Core Company. Michael Callum, Polar Company. Jordan Skiff, Wastewater Superintendent. Joe Carlin, Parks Department, Public Works. Stacy Wesseljack, Administrative Clerk. Heather Burke, Business Manager, Public Works. David Beeble, Director of Public Works. All righty. Thank you, everyone. Um, Start with the approval of minutes from uh, February 13th, 2024. I move to approve. Second. Most made and seconded. Any discussion on those minutes? <laughs> All in favor? Aye. aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. Those are approved. Okay. Number six. Resolution number 157, 2324. Resolution authorizing a one year loan of the Phoenix Passenger Ship. City of Sheboygan to the Wisconsin Maritime Museum. Director? Uh, yes, uh, Joe Curlin, our, our Parks and Forestry Superintendent, has been uh, working with this. Oh, I think we have, I think it's an awesome opportunity, so we have no problems with it. But, Joe, if you want to provide some background, or, and I believe yep. Bob yep. is here. And we do have a visitor here tonight. So, um, Kevin Cullen, uh, Deputy Director with Wisconsin Maritime Museum. Uh, actually contacted me after Bob had given me a heads up and I'll introduce him in just a second. But um, they are doing a year, a full year exhibit of shipwreck exhibit and uh, that was in your, in your packet. Just kind of showing all the staging area um, in there. And the one thing that would really help that display is uh, I'm going to let Bob talk about this a little bit, but he had two ships on this commission. They are on showcase at the Land Community Center. So the request, uh, and then Bob, we would allow this, is to loan this out. There is an agreement, and it's insured. Um, they will pick it up and be responsible from the time of pickup until the time returned. and. Um, It'll be on display, and, and uh, I think it'll be a, a pretty neat thing. One thing I really didn't know, she sent me a little letter today. Another guy was going to make it to talk about it, but um, um, she did want to say we acknowledge the City of Sheboygan partnership in the signature exhibit, and we invite city officials to events um, surrounding the opening of the exhibit in May. So there will be invitations out there. Uh, the Phoenix, I didn't know this, really important to the um, immigration story. Well, that's very interesting. So I'm going to introduce Bob uh, Melzer, yep. and he's the one again that had the commission the ships to be built, and then donated them to the city. Bob, many years. I should, suppose I should stand up. Many years ago, when the Deadland Park Center was built. I talked to the uh, city <coughs> development guy, Bob Peterson, I think it was at the time, and to enhance that facility, I commissioned two models to be built and put on display and given to the city on behalf of my daughters. Um, and they were built by a local model builder and they're wonderful models. They're museum quality. And uh, the Phoenix, a ship that sank here, or between here and Manitowoc, it's a historic uh, ship site. And they just recently found the smokestack from that ship so that's in particular why it is timely and why the museum would like to put it on display. So it's a it's a 
therefore we'll a model and it would be nice if the city would allow it to be shared with the museum for the period of time needed. I've talked to the museum and I know the museum quite well and they're res very responsible people. So I think it's a win-win. Any tool model is gone, the model builder would have another little model he could put in there so you just don't have an empty display case. Yeah. We can get brownie points with Manitowoc and the museum by doing that. <laughs> Well, for one thing, this is a great idea. I mean, it goes right along with our the, uh, sanctuary, you know, the, 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 the whole sanctuary thing. With, and, uh, I think this is a win, like you said, I think this is a win-win. This is great for, for the Maritime Museum, and it's great for promotion for Sheboygan. People go up there, and they'll see the, you know, the ship that we, we're loaning out to them. So uh, I'm in full support of this. Yeah. Go ahead, Angela. Uh, I, my only question is, is there a reason why I wouldn't? <laughs> if there is, I, I can't figure it out. Okay. <laughs> took care of it in the loan agreement. Take that insurance. Okay. So, okay. But it's not, no, it's not going to cost this. Any, there's nothing. It's, yeah. Okay. Great. Seems like a no brainer to me. <laughs> Zach, you had a question? Nope. I'm oh, okay. Joe. Thank you. Um, so when they, they're going, it's going up to Manitowoc, is that group take that? Is that going to go to another part date after that? If everybody comes and sees that, or this is just a one-time deal, and that's not going to be a, like a traveling situation? Full year at that, at that sure. setting. Okay. I'm in favor of that. It's, it's a good idea. All right. Move to approve. Okay. Second. Made seconded. Any other discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair will sign. That is approved. Thank you very much. Permission to leave. Go right ahead. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you for your attendance, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, okay, number seven. Resolution number 159-2324. Resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with the Tyne Peterson Construction Company for the construction of the Qantas Park Trail extent, authorizing an amendment to the 2024 budget to cover the contract costs. Director. Yeah, uh, since Ryan, in, in Ryan's absence this evening, okay. this was a project that was uh, in the capital improvements and black bond funds as well, as is indicated here. Uh, Butte and Peterson was the low uh, bid on the project. We were looking for uh, the committee's approval. This is the trail. This is an extension of the Kiwanis Park Trail where it ends. Um, this will now bring it all the way to New Jersey Avenue. Right now, it, it stops short. This will be a continuation along the trail. Along, 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 correct. Does improvements as well as along. There's some sidewalk that is along Kiwanis Park Road that gets improved with this. So there's other things than just the trail. Sounds really good. It's going to really enhance that all. Angela? Is it, what, what, is it a paved? Is that, yes. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Look at promotion. I move to approve. Second. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved also. Uh, number eight. Resolution number 161 Resolution authorizing the purchasing agent to purchase. <laughs> issue a purchase order for two 2023 Packer trucks for the Department of Public Works. Yes, these are two vehicles that were in the capital improvements budget for this year. Uh, we have Rick Nye as well here to uh, answer any technical questions. Uh, is Rick is a motor vehicle supervisor in terms of specifying the type of stuff. One's going to be a, <clears throat> a side loader truck, which would be a, for picking up the, the residential cans, such as. Uh, there will be uh, addition to our fleet that is replacing a, a, a conventional or older double rear loader. And the other one will be a, a, a rear loader packer truck. So uh, both of these are, again, as I mentioned, in the capital improvement budget. Uh, one is going to be funded through the recycling fees. So it doesn't hit necessarily impact the more fund directly since we've been collecting recycling fee and that is being used as an enterprise fund, so a separate force, separate source of funding, separate budget item. 
therefore it's self-contained. So we're using the proceeds from the recycling fee that we're uh, collecting, using the fund balance in there to purchase this truck. Right, thank you. The rear end uh, loading, is that basically what's used in the parks? Well, or primarily the drop-off site. Okay. Familiar we have the right. okay. So there, as well as we use it to pick up other things during the bulky waste, if we do the uh, community uh, neighborhood cleanups, sometimes we'll, we'll bring that larger vehicle to throw larger bulky waste in. So it's used um, quite a bit in terms of that as well. But we have the, the units that put uh, the dump to the back and then it tips them up in there? This, it will be able to dumpster. Right? There's, there's a tip around. There is. Okay. Yeah. So this was like a six yard, not, not, right. we're not talking big, no, no, real no. long, right. like roll offs or anything. Yep. Yeah. So this is the one that you're like using also for, for, for like on the one ways and stuff like that too, or is that a separate one? What are you guys using on that? The, we have a couple of 2013s that we're using in alleys and stuff like that. These two are primarily, we've got two uh, 2000, year 2000 trucks okay. that are primarily used for recycling, leaf collection, sure. and things like that. This is to replace one. About a year ago, we had two, we tried to get two of these, uh -huh. and then finding one used one. We were originally searching for two used ones. I don't have to recall that. We were able to find one that's been working out well, but we could never find the second. So this is a new truck to complete. Any other questions? Second. Second. We'll get proof. <laughs> okay. We've made and seconded. Uh, any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Sure. Aye. That is approved. Yeah. All right. <laughs> now we go to number nine, 162 20, 2324, resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with the Vinton Construction. Company incorporated for the construction of the Veterans Memorial Park pickleball and basketball courts and authorizing an amendment to the 2024 budget to cover the contract costs. Again, Mr. Chairman, uh, a project that was part of the capital improvements program for 2024. And uh, Joe is here. He can talk a little bit more about the details, but it's basically going to be converting the existing tennis court area and making a pickleball and basketball court kind of combination between this that area so it's going to be pretty much min off the old tennis courts taking that area the fencing gets upgraded and um and yeah. joe if you want to provide some more details you might even yeah this park has been without a basketball court for quite a while um more years than i want to mention but david said it it's based on the, the it was a two court tennis court. So it, it it's basically fits that him uh, that that print. We we updated Roosevelt tennis courts. We have two tennis courts there. We do have pickleball painting on them, but they are tennis courts. Um, I, we feel with the need, <laughs> the pickleball craze, um, that the basketball court and um, being able to fit four pickleball courts in that, that area um, and bringing basketball back to that court area um, is what that space really needed. Uh, it's been in the capital funds for, I mean, capital improvements for, for probably four or five years at least. So building up to this. And um, we, we think it's really gonna add, I mean, um, Feds Park is, is uh, rented during the summer, every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, most Fridays, but uh, very well used park and, and it will add to the activities there along with newer playground equipment that's already there beautiful shelter bathrooms uh, i will say that for, for, for my perspective i know that i met with the neighborhood association there and they were looking forward to something they, they were there you know they were kind of anxious to get something in where those tennis courts where they were that's kind of an unutilized area uh the, the tennis courts themselves are kind of had uh, kind of a disrepair and uh but they really weren't used even before that so it's, it, it, this is a win i think this is a good thing uh the one question i have is what is the lighting going to be then for that that's going to have to be worked on Okay. So I don't have an answer for that one. That'll have to be separate. Oh, separate. Okay. okay. All right. 
do you have some questions? I have a question for that. I move to approve. Second. Motion is made and seconded. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Share both side. That is approved. Okay. Now we'll go to number 10. Entering into an inter-services agreement with all signatory in the 1875 Joint Sewage Treatment Agreement for the Sheboygan Region in order to authorize sanitary sewer service to approximately 77 acres of land in the municipal boundaries of the town of Mosul, which is more commonly known as the Kohler Company Generator Plant. Okay. Yes, Mr. Chairman, uh, this is a request and agreement that we have represented as far as uh, Chuck Adams, our city attorney, who has who's worked with their uh, legal to um, work on this agreement and um, I think it's something that we support. It, it's my understanding is facing some pending DNR permitting issues okay. and currently it's not served by sanitary sewer. Okay. So um, being a major employer in our area, we think this is a good thing for the area and long term. Um, solution as well for the environmental concerns. So, uh, I guess I'll leave it to you, Mr. Chen, if you want to open it up, or if you want to have Chuck provide further context to this, that we. Yeah, I, mean, I, I did provide some amendments that we'll, that we're going to be doing, and basically, this has been an ongoing process. Uh, Reinhardt Burner is it represents. Uh, Color company, color generator on on this, and they're working with a uh, with the entire regional area. So there's towns and villages in the region that are also involved in all of this, and so a couple of little amendments that we need to make, but they're really not substantive. And uh, and uh, work with David a little bit on some of the amendments, which ones we're going to accept, which not. So basically, what you've got in front of you um, is what the agreement looked like before, uh, and we are just eliminating a couple of phrases out of the agreement that are really not necessary as part of the amendment. Yeah, I think okay. overall, if in concept, so, this is, this is, we support this. I think when it's eventually there'll be some technical challenge yeah. and that is ne not necessarily an impediment to the agreement in, in this process that will be worked out in the future as well. But overall, this is, this is a good thing. It's a very, Narrow agreement purposely worked out to be narrow to yes. just deal with this issue and not get into the various other issues that Correct. are out there. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yes. Uh, wait, so what are what what right now? What 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 where does their sewer system go to now? Okay. If I could jump in there, Mr. Chair, and Stacy put this map up on the screen in case this is tougher. So at the very top left of the screen is the generator plant um, in the town of Mosul. Currently, there um, they have some treatment on site, and then the discharge from that goes uh, to the road north of there. It's an unnamed tributary. Um, but what they're proposing is to not necessarily renew that permit that they have with the DNR for treating in state connect to the town of Sheboygan wastewater collection system and so if that my chicken scratch is hard to read at skip and so uh, there's but it does basically down to that bottom right uh, the town was lift station that then um, uses a pressurized pipe, a force main to waste water to join the city's collection system to the south. That flows by gravity there to Kentucky Avenue and then is boosted again. So that's roughly the, the area we're looking at. Obviously, the generator plant representatives might have questions around it, but from a wastewater system, Kevin and I have to think about the clean system additional flow that would bring to our collections in the city and that uh, the wind itself. Really the flows there are less than an increase in our daily flows. 
So volume wise, it's very minor. Um, you know, obviously as a plant, it is something that we want to look at the nutrients that are part of their flows or even things that are part of their manufacturing processes. Based on very low volumes, I don't think that that will be any concern at all. And even their manufacturing processes, they do some chemical um, respiration. Things like that. So um, we really don't have any concerns from wastewater plants. So like David alluded to, I think our part as a city in this is relatively minor. Obviously, it's more the town of Sheboygan and the town of Mosul, um, you know, making sure they're comfortable with more direct impacts to them. So I don't know if you if you want to hear from them at all. I, I, I just just the, this is the, the the lines and everything else, the pump station problem that's their problem it's really not basically we're just getting the finished the product yeah we're just getting the finished product we don't have to worry about any of the any and again we might see just that tiniest of upticks in our cities and then sure. the wastewater plant very negligible negligible do you have any really it's a bit no you know but the last um, we first sat down with David and forward the technical stuff and um, uh, the technical aspect, you know, the sewer plant capacity, um, what our strength of our wastewater was, and from there it kind of evolved into um, to make this happen. So now we're just excited to uh, this project moving forward. Go ahead, Joe. Yeah, they, um, if the, uh, the plant larger, so everything that's going to be installed will take care of anything in the future that you'd ever have to have out there? So as you know, we've um, got, we just finished our second uh, expansion okay. over the last 12 years. Um, we don't have a whole lot more room to grow. Um, so any, any further expansion that we would have, it's not going to really increase uh, what we would discharge. Okay. Um, you know, our manufacturing process, obviously we do a lot of generators. Mm -hmm. so the bulk of our water is sanitary water. So we have a lagoon system right now that treats that. Uh, we get a double treatment process from a painting process. Um, but, you know, really it's an assembly operation <clears throat> out there. So it's really not going to increase any capacity in the future. And we're discharging to a very small, like you said, an unnamed uh, tributary. So that's somewhat restrictive. Um, what we and discharge that uh, going into the near future. So we've been in compliance, but this is a good opportunity for utilization of a nearby mm -hmm. uh, wastewater conveyance system, system. Yeah, and treatment system. And from an environmental perspective, this is a, a win for our you know, environment. We're basically going to be going from two uh, WPDS permits into the cities, yeah. which, which has a more robust Treatment process. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this is a, a good thing for the. I think it's good for they don't help help a, uh, a large employer in our area. You know, healthy and strong, and be able to help keep the environment safe. So I, I'm in support of this. Angela. Can we can we just talk a little bit more about the environmental aspect? Of this is a plant and. Uh, I, I'm assuming it, due diligence was done when that bringing in some poor chemicals into the city and how that's being treated. So that, that's my main point on that. Yeah, I mean, I, I shared, uh, so we have a, a WPDS permit, you know, so we have uh, testing that we do all, all the time, right? Um, I shared um, our, our DMRs with um, uh, the city. Okay. And you know, I say it's a very... Um, with low strength. Very low strength uh, wastewater. Primarily, it's it's mostly uh, made up of our sanitary water. I just rewatched Aaron Brockovich, so it's a little on top for me. <laughs> so that's where I'm coming from. I guess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I'll just say also that you know, um, uh, once if this is finalized, we would obviously get an industrial permit. Exactly. Exactly. That was what I was just going to mention. Okay. That the, the, the industrial side, there's an industrial permit. We have. Under Jordan's area, he has a pre-treatment industrial pre -treatment that monitors that, tests it, and uh, makes sure that it's in compliance. So there's, there's certain uh, criteria that has to be met as well as with that. 
Yeah, so we would maintain our, our treatment process that we have in the sanitary, obviously, mm -hmm. but for the industrial side. So we would meet any, uh, you know, limits we were imposing. And Stacy, would you mind scrolling down to the second page of what I said? Yeah. I would also like, like to yeah. add, we, we currently treat the uh, sewage from the Kohler plant itself, the, the main plant in Kohler, which probably has probably more of a chance of. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the iron foundry is. Right. Yeah, well, exactly. and they, they also have a, a free treatment system exactly. for exactly. their industrial sure. side as so. well. And again, I know this is very hard to read. We can zoom in if people are interested, but this is a, a document provided by the plant just to show us as city staff kind of what the current processes are. Again, to the top of that page where it discharges currently to that unnamed tributary instead of the send cell to the, the town of Shibuya. But if you have more detailed questions, this was a, a helpful document for you guys to provide. Cool. There's a report that yeah, we have to give to the DNR and then they also do for the DNR. And so it just shows the different uh, parameters that have to test for and what their levels are. So the DNR monitors very closely awesome. that we're staying in compliance with our permit. And they provided that to us to reassure us that Closer. environmentally it's, it's in a really good state. So That's awesome. Thank you. Sure. Uh, what's the town situation? How do they feel about this? Are they even involved, or do we just are we going around the town to get it? Or which which are they town? Be happy with what we're doing. Town of Sheboygan. Yeah, town of Sheboygan? yeah, yeah so yeah. we'll be we'll be connecting right to the town of Sheboygan Sanitary District Two, which is literally a mile south uh, down Lakeshore Road, Labor Road. Right there is where. Um, and, and again, they're in favor of that too. They are. They are yeah, they've been very fine. supportive. I'll finally, say that we finally do something for the town. <laughs> so I also say the town of Mosul, um, obviously they, they've been very supportive of this as well. Um, they've been uh, on board with this, you know, from day one as we started this, you know, having the discussions when this happened. And technically all of the towns, villages, and cities mm -hmm. in the regional area have to sign off on it. So. Gotcha. I would also say that we've, we've uh, had discussions with both our parties too. And been very well, well received and supported. Good discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, any other questions? Okay. Looking for a motion? Move to approve. Second. Okay. Um, oh, we need. You okay. <laughs> okay. I move. You want to read it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I move to amend the interim sanitary sewer agreement to remove the clause. As conditionally approved by the Sheboygan Urbanized Area Sewer Service Area Technical Advisory Committee, pursuant to the 2003 Sheboygan Urbanized Area Sewer Service Plan on blank, blank, as conditionally approved by the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources by letter dated blank, and for and from the second whereas clause and from paragraph two. Okay. Looking for a second on that. Second. Okay. Um, now, is there any discussion on the uh, the amendment? Okay. Looking to vote on the amendment. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The opposed chair votes. Aye. The amendment is approved. Now we'll move back to the original. Uh, any uh, the discussion? Aye. 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 That is approved as amended. Thank you. <laughs> number 11. Resolution blank. Number 1. Resolution authorizing agent to issue a purchase order for a 2024 barn and diesel powered walk behind concrete saw and accessories for the motor vehicle division of the Department of Public Works. David or Rick? Yep. Uh, well, real quick, Rick's here again okay. to talk about, I guess, the technical. This, again, this was a piece of equipment we had in mm -hmm. uh, for basically our concrete saw. It's our main saw that we saw pavements uh, for removal and replacement. Our current saw is a 2011 model and it's being less and less reliable and um, in some of the safety features as well. So we're looking to replace it with this upgrade. Unit. And I think we have a husk of our currently, so it's really the same model, just the brand just yeah. new. Anyone questions at all? 
going on Wisconsin surplus. I'm happy for safe first house. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for a motion. I move to second. Should be a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. Okay. Uh, before we go to the next meeting, I just want to say, uh, since this is Ryan's last game, I just want to say, oh. I, I want to say thank you to Ryan for all of your hard work for the city. For uh, as a chair of Public Works and being a member of Public Works, and is being even a citizen, uh, Ryan's been a great help all the way along the line, and uh, I really appreciate all the stuff for the city. Well, thank you. Thank we'll you see you on the pickleball court. <laughs> <laughs>